So this video is a little different from the ones that I normally do. Uh, I had a request to walk you through the download and installation process on how to get started with the Xamarin Studio tools. So I'm making the assumption that you have already downloaded and installed Visual Studio um, because that is what I have on my system. However, when we go to xamarin.com slash download, you can see they have a package of Visual Studio with Xamarin already ready to go. Um, and if you choose that you do not already have Visual Studio installed, then it will download the full package. Otherwise, it's only going to download the Xamarin tools that you need for your already existing Visual Studio installation. So you can go ahead and, and put in your information into the box. I'm selecting that I already have Visual Studio installed, agree to the terms, and you can download, uh, oh, sorry, you gotta put a full name in there, and you can download the package. So once you have it, and it's about three megabytes or so, so not too much, we can go ahead and continue with the installation process. Now, for most people, the installation process is fairly painless. It says, you know, it requires almost no effort on your part. However, in some cases, the Xamarin installer can be a little stubborn. So as you walk through here, of course, we agree to the license agreement. And then you can choose the products that you want to install. So if you have an Intel-based processor, you'll want the HaxM, which is the Hardware Acceleration Manager. Um, you can see I heard of this installed, so it's, it's already grayed out. I believe Visual Studio is installing this by default at this point if you have the 2015 version. However, I run Enterprise, so if you're running like Community, maybe you will need to install this separately. Um, Xamarin Profiler, Profiler is a, a, a tool chain, essentially helps you manage your Xamarin apps and helps integrate um, like testing and, and looks at your code for uh, like optimization. And so then Workbooks is a documentation tool um, for creating like guides and teaching aids and things like that. And then if you're going to be doing iOS builds, now I do my iOS builds over the network remotely to a Mac, so you'll need the remote iOS simulator if that is your plan, because we can't do any iOS compilation directly on Windows. Okay, so next you choose where the Android SDK installation is located. You can see here I have a couple uh, that I need to choose from. So the places that it's giving me are either the mono for Android or the universal. Um, I really haven't found a pros or cons between the two. I'm probably there, there probably is. But if you wanted to change the location of where this SDK will be installed, you can click Add New Location and do that. So if you are wanting to move things to a separate drive or something like that, that would be where you would change that. All right, so at this point, the installer is going to tell you what's going to take place. So we're going to install the Java JDK. It's defaulting to the 1.8.0 and the Android SDK, the Xamarin Tools version 421 at this point, and the Xamarin Profile, Workbooks, and iOS Simulator that we chose on the previous screen. Now you do have to go through and accept the software licenses for all of these different products at this point, so you can say that you accept, and it's going to start installing the software. Now this can take a little while. You can see that it's downloading installers in the background as we go, and it's gonna tell you about how much it's completed. Total, we're gonna to get uh, about 3.57 gigabytes here. Um, you can see my download speed's not that great this morning, so um, this is gonna take a little while. And as it in downloads each one of those components, it's going to install them. And, it's in, and of course, it's doing it in the proper order. So this installer is actually quite ingenious because when we first started with Xamarin several years ago, uh, you had to download each one of these components kind of individually and piece them all together and um, make sure you did it in the right order. And if you had problems, then of course, sometimes you got hung up. So this is a much less painful process than it used to be. And you can see here now I have a check on my uh, JDK, that's been completed, 
and now we're moving on to our, our tools. So I'm going to let this proceed at this point. You're not going to have to listen to me talk as we go through 3.5 gigabytes of installation files. So as you can th see, things are coming right along. We're at just about 1.4 gigabytes. And uh, I just wanted to make a note here. If you have already been doing some Android development, maybe you already have Android Studio and some of the um, like Android SDK, Java files, and things like that on your system, um, it can create some, some strangeness in this Xamarin installer, especially if it doesn't pick up that you already have these tools installed and then it tries to install another copy over it. So in many ways, a fresh installation is, is a little um, easier to do. So if you're running into errors during this process and, uh, or you're not able to get the Xamarin installer to pick up that you already have certain parts of the SDK or Java files already resident on your computer, it may be worth it to remove them and then let the installer take care of getting them done. You can see we just kind of jumped ahead there um, in, in our process. We're moving right along now, so it hasn't been very long at all. So as you can see at this point, we're almost there. If you put your mouse over, um, it'll often tell you what it is that it's doing. Um, but it's already downloaded the Android SDK, and it's running the installer, and then we're downloading the Xamarin tools for Visual Studio right now. And so we're almost done with our... Uh, 5.3, uh, I'm sorry, 3.57 gigabyte download, um, and we'll almost have everything installed at this point. So once the installer is done downloading all of the files, you will just at this point see the installation process as that takes place. So you can see that the Android SDK is being installed. We've got the Google APIs and some of those system images needed for the Android emulator. Once the Xamarin installer starts, you will see a box that looks like this as the Xamarin installer runs through and installs those tools for Visual Studio. And then it will move on to our other tools that we've selected, and then when you're all done, you will get the installation complete screen. And then, to help you get started, the Xamarin developer page will open automatically in your browser. And you can start working through some of the self-guided learning videos. Of course, I'm always going to re recommend my own videos that you'll find here on YouTube. And if you do have any specific requests about a video or a topic that you would like to see, I would love to hear about it. So feel free to send me some feedback on this video. Of course, at this point, you can open Visual Studio and check that everything was installed as it should be. And you can do this by coming into Visual Studio and coming to New Project. And then from the New Project window, uh, we can check that we have the proper templates for starting a Xamarin project. So uh, as we come in here and look at uh, some of these that are installed uh, under Visual, or I'm sorry, under C Sharp, we should have um, the Xamarin Forms style uh, templates. And then if we expand C Sharp over here, we should see that we have the iOS, and we can also see that we have the Android ones. And then, of course, the uh, cross-platform section has all of the Xamarin Forms ones. So you can start get started on making a new Xamarin project and working through some of the tutorial videos so you can make your own app. I hope this has been helpful. All in all, I think this installation took just about 30 minutes from start to finish as I paused it while we're waiting for different things to download. Um, and, and my system's not overly powerful for these kinds of things. So hopefully it didn't take too long for you and uh, you were able to successfully get your tools installed and you're on your way. Feel free to leave me any questions or feedback and uh, I look forward to helping you in a further video. Thanks, enjoy.